Going to be looking to see if they can begin their road to a comeback here with a win against MDK. MDK 3-0 and oh in the play-in so far in terms of games. They 2-0'd oh on day one. They're up 1-0 in this series. And we do need to see if we're going to see a swap. I'd say neither of these team compositions look like they would need to swap, but you do need to keep track of what MDK does in the early game because they've been swapping a lot so far at Worlds. Absolutely. Well, definitely starting to hurt in this 1v1. Already has used both his potions. Brescawi sitting on both potions. He's just chilling. Nice little slow down. There's just a flash forward. Great cleanse for Benny. Was so fast, but it's not going to matter for Woody. He is not safe. First blood. Graphiel, yo, yeah. Jungle item be damned. Been able to recover, and he's actually ahead of the Vi in gold at this point in the game. Yeah, nice little sidestep there on the True Shot Barrage by Betty, and he's going to let it rip on the ult. He has to cancel that, and Super looking for the outplay. Going to flash. flash board here, and he hits the Q, and he's got the kill. The flash advantage makes the difference. Super just iced him in the bot lane. Yeah, and I, I really do wonder if that's just playing around Betty's flash, though, you know, to give him benefit yeah. of the doubt. Maybe they're just nervous about that. Aja going to look forward. Nice guy of the week. The flash forward, okay. and the Meganar against the wall, layered in by Woody. Woody's taking the tower, and frescawi has got nowhere to go. Woody survives. P PSG find a kill on top side. Now it's Maple versus Mirwin. Went to Worlds instead of a honeymoon. Worth? Worth? <laughs> that is the honeymoon. There you go. Exactly. Not instead of. All right. Now Mirwin in trouble. It's a 1v4. They didn't want to go for it with three, but they definitely do with four. No chance of an outplay there for Mirwin. He's down. It's meanwhile, Frescau is oh, creating that be top. Looking for a dive and Betty here. has flash. They're wrapping around onto Betty. Are they going to go with it? They force the flash. The crash down doesn't connect. The ultimate is big. They're softening okay, them up. Bye. And now Junja is here. And the flash forward knocks off to the ulti to follow over the wall from Woody. Connects. PSG punish that dive. Huge. Game one would be quickly forgotten if they're able to win game two and three and move on to the Swiss stage. Oh, they're looking coming. again. Betty in trouble. No flash now as he's locked up, stunned up, and he is burst down. Alvaro going to be traded back. back. Not bad. Does get the one for one. And we can see five members of MDK here around the mid lane as Renekton is there as well. Everyone coming. They're going to lose the tower bot, and they are going to be losing some experience on the other side as well. But at the very least, they drop the Herald. They're going to get a charge on the tier two. They get a kill, and they do get that tier one poking El Yoya out, and they kind of see where everyone on MDK is. Yeah, Woody scrapping here on the side, and Alvaro caught out again. He just had the Hex yep. Flash. That's not getting you out of there. The crash down just might, but no, Betty is there with a bullet to the back. Finishes Alvaro. And that's the tempo advantage. PSG seems like they're back into their comfort zone. They pulled that play off successfully. Maple's able to teleport and catch a huge wave in the top side. Snake it around on the side, maybe trying to find an angle here to come in from behind as Maple going to be pushed out. Go. They're going to flash forward, and there's the crash down. There's the Magnet Sword, and there is Maple dying by the Baron. MDK pull the trigger, and it's who else who does it but Alvaro. Let's see how much more they can get, because if they can chase down Vi, they might even think about Baron. It's a really nice play there. They had five people mid. They knew they wanted to make a play. Aja was shown on the bot wave, oh. and the chase continues. I mean, Jinja he's on the wrong to, side of the map. Uh, get out of the Heartbreaker, but it's not going to matter. Super comes over the wall. They're going to be able to finish him off. The delayed kill onto him. Even with the Nar being exhausted, he can teleport in as well. I do not think this is going to be an uncontested Baron. We'll see. Alvaro on the side. Remember, he has no flash. He has no ulti. The TP's going to be coming in now from Maple. Aja just got back to base, and he's going to be joining up as well. The Baron down to 5k. Woody looking for an angle on engage. He flashes forward. There's the bullet time. It gets nothing, though. Woody on the side. They're onto the back of the Frescaui. He is down. The resets are coming through. Maple's looking for Alvaro, trying to chase him down. He oh, gets the kill. More. Supa. They, they, they haven't leashed it. They can just stay over here. Junja's coming back, so they can just hold this for Junja to get oh, back oh. here. El Yoya needs to get back over to the Baron. They do have the wards over the wall, so they have vision on it. And Supa's trying to soften them up, but Junja's back. He has no ulti, remember, oh, but he does have the flash. Flip. It could be a flip here. Flash is available for El Yoya, but no Heartbreaker. Mirwin comes in, and the health bars are getting too low. Supa is just destroying them in this Baron pit, so the Baron will finally reset. Yeah. I think that was closer to a 60-40 or a 70-30 flip with the 5v3 that oh, they had. Alvaro just hex flashed over, and he didn't know that they were there waiting for him. They have more people, but Junja's though. gonna get turned around on the crash down into the scatter. The jungler's dead again, right by the Baron. Yeah, he hex flashed over because he had his whole team behind him.
as Zupa's just pushing in through mid. MDK reinforcing their top laner. Three members walking up here. Maple has to stay far back. He knows if he gets stunned up, he will get first down 100 to zero. Betty now with the team, chunking out Alyoya. Oh, Alyoya could be in some trouble as Woody goes in on Mirwin. They're gonna jump in. Oz is about to mega out. This could be huge. The bullet time is massive. It tears Mirwin apart. Alvaro falls as well. It's a double for Betty. This fight back and forth, back and forth. But PSG taking a big advantage now. Looks like Maple might have been able to get a pick, but again, he's completely alone. Doesn't want to make the. Yeah. Uh, They're looking for Mirwin, though. They know he has no Sterex and he has no Dominus. Can Maple find the charm to set this up? Aja's coming. He buys the time, forces the flash there, and the TP from Frescawi. So, PSG, good pressure. Oh, this could be the uh, Yoyo's looking, but he's not going to find anything just yet. Alvaro could be in some trouble. Woody swinging a miss on the Zenith Blade. Is Maple's on the side oh. looking for more. They get the first reset. Flash forward. It's a charm and it's a kill. Maple takes the game in his hands and says goodbye to Frescawi. Supa's on the run, going to be having to flash out of there, excuse me, a shift only used by him. Yeah, from the Renekton, and the Renekton is going to TP, but he's TPing very far away. He TP just to the bottom side of the river, so they could even potentially try to finish this. It's getting low, Maple threatening on the side. They do have eyes onto Alyoya. Woody in some trouble, the stuns do land onto Alvaro, and Alvaro is just gone. They committed a lot for it. The slam against the wall from Supa catches him. He's going to be jumping out of there to safety. Alyoya low, he's trying to run. Mirwin's in the middle of the rest of the team. He gets stunned up by the bye. He's trying to go back in, but he can't make it happen. The scatter over the wall from Rescawi was nice, but it doesn't get too much done. El Yoya low the charm connects from Maple. Supa's low. He's trying to get out of there. Betty's flashing forward. Can they turn it around? They don't have the damage just yet. Betty stands. Betty fights. Betty falls, but it's PSG that take the win, and it's PSG that are going for the Nexus. 40 seconds, 50 seconds on these respawn timers. Like PSG are pushing us to a third game. They managed to clutch up when they needed to. They were down in this game too, looking completely out of sorts, but they make back to back to back plays to pull ahead in the game and then securely and safely build their lead from there. PSG might have just had their best game so far at Worlds. What a game from PSG. Aja showing up huge and it's Maple of course making the plays on the Ari. Betty with a great MF game. Nerfs be damned, it doesn't matter. PSG make it happen with their backs against the wall.